Praise the Lord, saints. Pastor G here from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries. And we just want to early <laughs> in this month of December, remind you of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Amen. We typically do this in January. So the time frame that we're going to do our 21 day fast will be from the 3rd to the 23rd of January, 2021. The type of fast that we're going on, of course, is a Daniel fast. Vegetables, fruits, water, juices, no coffee, no caffeinated drinks, no carbonated drinks. And you can find a scriptural reference for the Daniel fast in Daniel chapter 1, verse 12, and Daniel chapter 10, verses 2 and 3. You will be blessed by those scriptures. The prayer resources that we're going to use during this 21-day fast are two. We're going to use Dr. Cho's Temple of Prayer. You see the small diagram on the right? All you got to do is go on the, on the internet and type in Dr. Cho's Temple of Prayer. And there's a PDF version that you can uh, download. Also, we're going to use 21 Days of Prayer Impact by Mrs. Kim Lyons. Amen. If you don't have that, you can get that on Amazon. And that is a powerful, powerful book on prayer oh my goodness oh my goodness let me just take a moment to read some of what is in her book if if you don't mind the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much james 5 and 16. there is a way for us today to experience god's power and make it available to our generation it is through effective fervent prayer our prayers make a difference and they are used by faith to activate the power of God in our lives our families and in our world in 21 days of prayer impact you will experience intimate prayers with God that will transform you into a prayer warrior for Jesus Christ I believe this book will take you to another level of intimacy with God and with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So it's powerful. Amen. I encourage you all, if you don't have this book already, to go ahead and get it. And uh, the focus of our 21 Days of Prayer will be spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening and impact change, to impact change. A spiritual awakening to impact change. We're coming into 2021. It's a year where some of most of the prophetic people have said it's going to be a year that's that 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 uh, solidifies. They are going to be surprised. You will be surprised, or you will be amazed. 2021, three sevens, God's completion three times. Glory to God. So we're looking to have a high time during this time of prayer and fasting, and we pray that you guys would join us during this time of increased, dedicated, focused 21 days of prayer and fasting. From Covenant Kingdom International Ministries, this is Pastor G. We love each and every one of you. Join us on this fast. Be renewed and be changed in your life. God bless you. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord, saints. Pastor E here from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries. And we just want to welcome you to another one of our Thursday night broadcasts. Amen. We are still teaching on the subject of unity. And uh, I'll tell you, Pastor Vince, I got a powerful message coming today. Amen. Hallelujah. She just want to lay some good groundwork. Amen. On some scriptures that um, concern us uh, and some things that separate us from unity. But I'm not going to get ahead. I'm not going to um, tip, tip, the, tip the hand. Praise God. But let you be blessed as she comes forth with this word. <clears throat> Unity is so important. We're living in a time now where we really need to pray for unity in our nation. Glory to God. Unity in our nation. That's that's the paramount thing. Glory to God. Amen. So, I want to talk to you about some definitions of unity. Just some short ones. Amen. 
the quality or state of being of not being multiple, it means oneness. A condition of harmony or accord. Continuity without deviation or change, as in purpose or action. The quality or state of being made one or unification. Hallelujah. The resulting singleness of effect or symmetry and consistency of style and character. That's interesting. A totality of related parts, an entity that is a complex or systematic whole. You can take, that's the body. The body is a complex or systematic whole. The state of being in full agreement, walking in togetherness. Does not the Bible say, can two walk together except they agree? That's unity. Hallelujah. A way of combining the parts in a work of art or literature so that they seem to belong together, that they flow. Amen. Anything in unity, anything that's operating or functioning in unity flows together. Hallelujah. Here's some synonyms for the word unity. Y'all know I like synonyms. I like the English language. Balance. Coherence. Consinity, consonance, consonancy, harmony, orchestration, proportion, symmetry, symphony, agreement, teamwork, network, understanding, partnership, fellowship, <laughs> accord, having all things common, and oneness. And then you know your pastor likes numbers as well. The number one, amen, symbolizes unity, and also the number two symbolizes union. Does not the Bible say, for this cause a man shall leave his mother and his father, shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. That's unity. Hallelujah. So we want to um, just be a blessing to you as we come forward with this word. We thought we were going to be end with this series now, but the Lord has just uh, imported some more in Pastor Vincent and myself that we'll be coming forth with um, in this message. Amen. Hallelujah. So as we continue in the, unit, in the, in the spirit of unity, and this, on this word in unity, continue to pray for us. Amen. And we will continue to pray for you that you, in your, in your own homes, and in your own uh, lives, in your own relationships, that you will function and operate in unity. Amen. Hallelujah. Join us, amen, as we go into the message, as we go into the word. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Watch this. Praise the Lord, saints. Welcome to another Seekham broadcast today on this Thursday evening as we're continuing our message on unity. unity. Amen. We pray that you enjoy that video and the yes. introduction that we had before. Amen. And uh, we're getting ready to uh, jump right into the lesson. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise tonight. We bless you, Father, for the spirit of unity. For there is one Lord, one baptism, one God, hallelujah, one Savior, who is in us all and through us all. We thank you, Jesus, for saving us. We thank you, Jesus, for delivering us. We thank you, Jesus, that we can be on one accord, hallelujah, according to the Spirit. We trust in you, Lord. We trust in you for our healing. We trust in you for our salvation. We trust in you for our deliverance. We trust in you to keep us, Father God, in these last and evil days. In the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, we pray for our nation, Lord God. Hallelujah. For our, nations is, our nation is still divided by race, still divided by religion. Hallelujah. Still divided by politics. Lord God, we pray that you would just break up every, we come against everything that's dividing our nation right now yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. And we pray for a spirit of unity. We yes. pray for the anointing of unity yes. in our leaders, Lord God, in our nation right now in Jesus' name. Yes. We come against everything that doth offend. We come against everything, Father God, that will seek to separate us from the things of God, that will separate us from each other, Lord God, outside Amen. of what you have already ordained in Jesus, in name. Jesus' name. Father God, again, we lift up our nations to you, our outgoing president and our incoming president, yes, that they Lord. will work together for a smooth transition in, yes, in the name, name of Jesus. Glory to God. <clears throat> Father, we bless you. We bless you for the healing of our nation right now in Thank Jesus' you, name. In Hallelujah. Jesus name. You said in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if my people who are called by my name yes. 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and then will I heal their land. Lord, yes, glory yes, to God. Yes. So we know, Father God, what the task is. We know what the conditions are and we understand what the standard is. Hallelujah. Yes. That we are to live according to your word. Yes. And your word is your will and your word is your way. Yes. And you, Jesus said that the words that I say unto you, they are spirit and they yes. are life. Hallelujah. Yes. We pray, Father God, God, for, for those that are, are suffering from COVID-19. Yes. We pray, Lord God, that you will restore them immediately, Lord. Yes, uh, and Lord. let there be a suddenly blessing yes. of healing come upon them, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Not only do we pray for unity in our nation and among our Congress and among uh, those in the judicial branch, our judges, Lord God, and our senators, hallelujah. We pray for unity in marriages. Hallelujah. Yes, Father, yes. That husband and husbands and wives will be on one accord yes. according to yes. the things of the Spirit of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We pray for unity in families. We pray for unity in schools. We pray for unity in businesses, Lord God. We pray for unity in ministries. And yes, oh God, more than ever before, we pray for unity among the saints. Yes. And unity in the churches of God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Let there not be no more isms and schisms and yes, stripes and yes. cliques, Father God, and factions in mm -hmm. the church. We bind that right, right now, now in, in the Jesus name, name of Jesus. We pray our anointing, Father God, against anything and everything that comes to hinder, block, stop, or obstruct us from walking in the full unity yes, Lord, yes. that is in the Spirit of God, in the unity of the Spirit, hallelujah, mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. Oh, we bless you tonight, Lord God, and we pray a special anointing over Pastor Vincent tonight as yes. you bring forth your word in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. Lord, yes. We pray, Father God, that the word will go forth unchecked and unhindered by any satanic or yes. any carnal fleshly force yes. in uh, the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We declare and we decree the blood over her life right now, Lord right God. Now, Hallelujah. Father. Father, give her words to speak. Stink through her mind and speak through her vocal cords that she may speak what she, what you would have her to say unto these, your people, Father God, your sheep, in Jesus' name. We thank you for our anointing for the hearers, Lord God, that they may hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Open our ears tonight, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. We are just the vessels, Lord. You are the teacher, and we open our hearts to hear and to receive what you would have for us on this Thursday night. Mm. In Jesus' glorious name. Yes, yes. Amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise oh, you, Lord. we bless you, Lord. We, we worship you, Father. You, Lord. We worship we you, We worship Father. your holy name, Lord. Yes. Worthy yes. are you, worthy, worthy are you of are all you, the glory, Father. the honor, and uh, the praise. Yes. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we lift our hearts, we lift our voices unto you tonight, yes, Lord, Father, in, in the name, name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we Hallelujah. We thank you, we thank you, we thank yes, you, we thank Lord, you, Lord yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. We worship you, Father. Yes, we Father. worship you, yes, Father. Yes, yes, Lord. We worship you in spirit and in, in truth. In spirit and in truth. We honor you, we lift you on yes, high, Yes, Lord God. And we thank mm. you. We Hallelujah. thank you, Father. We thank you. You said in everything, give thanks. Yes, Lord. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yes, Lord. So we thank you today, Father. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Ooh, what a sweet presence. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Father, we pray that this same spirit, this yes. same anointing that's resident here with us now, Lord mm. God, hallelujah, goes through the airwaves right now, yes. Lord, and into the homes that, that's listening to this mm. message, that's preparing to hear this word. Let the same anointing of peace, mm. the same anointing of unity, the same anointing of oneness, mm. join together, Father God, the families that are watching Near or far, yes. all around the earth, Lord God. Yes, Lord, yes. Let this anointing permeate their homes right yes, now. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> mm. Ooh, thank you. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yes, Lord. Wow. Mm. Wow. 
Wow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, Lord, yes. Peace I leave unto you. Mm. My peace I give unto you, saith the Lord. Mm. Not as the world giveth, I give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, mm. or let it not be afraid. For I am the Prince of Peace. Mm. Hallelujah. I come and I bring you mm. peace. And I, I am now with my Father, and I have left you my mm. peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. You have the peace. You can, you can hold and you can mm. experience the peace that passeth all understanding. Mm. I I have given you the peace in the midst mm. of uh, the storm. Hallelujah. Thank you, so you don't have to be afraid of the storm. Mm. You don't have to be afraid of the waves and the wind when they blow and when they when they carry on and when they billow and when they rage. Because I have given you my peace that passeth all oh, understanding. Understand. You have peace mm. in the midst of your storm. Yes, Lord. And in the midst of the storm. Mm. And in the midst of any storm, mm. you have the peace of God. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> thank you mm. oh Jesus thank mm. you thank you father thank you Lord thank, thank you Lord you. thank you Lord thank you father mm. thank you mm. Jesus 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 mm. amen Amen, 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 amen. Praise amen, you, amen. Father. Praise Ooh. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Praise God. We would like to welcome you on this Thursday night. Oh, amen. Beloved saints amen. Of amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we're still on unity. Mm -hmm. Unity as ordained by God. Unity in the spirit of peace. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We need unity today. Praise God. Amen. 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 And Jesus came to give us the unity. Mm -hmm. He came to reconcile us back, back unto, unto the God. Father. He yes. did not come imputing our sins unto us, praise God. Amen. He didn't come telling us how wrong we are. He came to show us the way back on to the Father. Yes, indeed. He indeed. took the test for us, praise God. He took our sins <laughs> and he gave us his righteousness mm -hmm. that we may be one with him and with his, his Father, and that his Holy Spirit mm -hmm. may indwell us, praise God. We cannot live this life without the Holy Spirit. We cannot live this life, praise Amen. God, without the guidance of the Spirit and without the Word of God. Amen. Amen. The Amen. Word of God is Spirit, and it I is like. life. Mm -hmm. It's truth, praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank it you, comes Jesus. to lead us into eternal life, praise yes, God. Yes, yes, indeed. That's right. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. And it is the very word that we receive, amen, mm -hmm. that's going to judge us on that day. And mm -hmm. I'm not speaking in a negative connotation, praise yes, God, amen. Yes, yes, Because many of us will be rewarded, mm -hmm. amen, for the work which we have done here on earth, mm -hmm. amen. So look at that judgment as being something positive, praise God, amen. Amen. Knowing that you are living from a righteous standpoint, in God. Amen. Amen. So I would like to read you a scripture starting in De Deuteronomy 6, starting from the fourth, amen, to the seventh verse. It says, Hear, O Israel, amen, the Lord our God is one <laughs> Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thine soul, and with all thy might. Amen. With your entire being. Amen. Amen. He wants everything. He does yes. not want anything to be left out. Amen. 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 And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Mm -hmm. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. Mm -hmm. And when thou walkest by the way. Mm -hmm. And when thou mm -hmm. liest down. And when thou risest up, praise Amen. God. Amen. So that means from the time 
You wake up until you go to bed. The scripture is telling us to speak of the word of God. Amen. Yes. Teach them to our children. Mm -hmm. So many times we hear Christians saying, is that all you can talk about the word? Shame. Well, saints of God, the scripture is telling us from the day, from the time we arise until we go to bed to speak of the word. How many of you know, praise God, the scripture lets us know that Jesus Christ, amen, became the word personified. Mm -hmm. He became the person of the word, praise God, amen. 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 When we take communion, praise God, we're partaking of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're eating the word. <laughs> amen. The word of God, praise God, amen. So we praise God. So he says here, Oh, Israel, pay attention. Mm. Listen up, Amen. Israel. Amen. The Lord our God is one. And I'm going to have Pastor Evans read me, read some scriptures from Psalms and Isaiah. I mean, concerning this one God, there's no other God. He cannot be compared to an idol. He cannot be compared to any God made with hands, praise God. Amen. Because he said in his word that he dwells in temples made without hands, praise God. Amen. Yes, in the Old Testament, he had Moses build him a temple, praise God, that he, that he dwelt in. In the New Testament, praise God. Amen. He created us and he dwells within us through his Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Pastor Evans, if you can read me those two verses. Amen. So, from Psalm 30, 135, starting at the uh, the 14th verse. Amen. The 15th verse. Okay. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. <laughs> <laughs> they have mouths, but they cannot, they speak not. That's right. They have eyes, but they see not. That's right. <laughs> they have ears, but they hear not. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mm. And they have mouths. Uh, they neither are there any. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. Or in other words, they have mouths, but they speak not. That's right. <laughs> That's right. He says, "They that make them are like unto them." And so everyone that trusteth in them. So what mm -hmm. he's saying here, praise mm -hmm. God, that the false gods that they're making out of, out of gold and wood and silver and these, these different kind of materials. He says they have eyes, but they can't see. They have ears, but they can't hear. They have a mouth, but they can't speak. He says the same ones that are making these gods are just like the gods they're making. That's they have right. eyes, but they can't That's see. Right. They have ears, but they can't hear. That's they right. have a mouth, but they can't speak. And everyone that believes in these false gods are the same like the ones who made the gods. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, when, <laughs> amen. and when we go back to the children of Israel, praise God. Amen. They had a God that blessed them continually. Praise God. Amen. All they the had a God that led them through All the wilderness. The praise All God. The Amen. Time. They had a God that prospered Ooh. them and brought them out of Egypt. Praise God. Hmm. Amen. They had hmm. nothing lacking. <laughs> nothing lacking. Nothing missing. Praise nothing God. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Amen. They were abundantly supplied. Praise God. In and every area. still. They would not hearken to the voice of God. Hmm. Amen. But yet they wanted to make God's praise God from their own hands that could mm -hmm. not bless them. <laughs> Amen. But yet the curse could come upon them. Amen. From the one true God that told them, praise God, to keep his commandments. Amen. 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 Not only so, praise God, he lets us know, praise God, in the Old Testament all over, teach it to your children. Amen. Because Amen. even your children needs to be in unity with me. Amen. Speak of the word of God when you rise up throughout the day and before you go to bed. Hmm. Let that be our focus. He said, write it on the doorpost. Hide it in your heart, praise God. Keep it before your eyes as a flint. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me let me get to Isaiah 46. Yes. And uh, starting at the seventh verse. They and I'm reading from the Amplified Version. They bear it upon their so their shoulders in religious processions or into battle. They carry it and they set it down in its place. <laughs> and there it stands. It cannot move from its place. Even if one cries to it for help, <laughs> yet the idol cannot answer nor save him out of his distress. 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> Earnestly remember this. Be ashamed and own yourselves guilty. And bring it again to mind and lay it to heart, O oh, ye rebels. So anybody Jesus. serving a false god is a rebel. That's right. That's Amen. right. Uh, let's, let, let me just read verse 9 and 10 because this, this, this is good right here. Mm -hmm. Earnestly remember the former things of old which mm -hmm. I did. God is saying, remember what I did. Remember the things I showed you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. For I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. That's Amen. Right. Declaring the end and the result from the beginning and from ancient times to the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand. I will do all my pleasure and my purpose. God's going to do what God's going to do. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's <laughs> Hallelujah. right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> and 2 Corinthians Ooh, 5 God. 19 says, To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world mm -hmm. unto himself, not imputing mm -hmm. their trespasses mm -hmm. unto them, and had and had committed unto them the word of reconciliation. So we have the word of reconciliation. We have the ministry of reconciliation, praise God. Amen. We are reconciling the world. We are reconciling man back unto the Father, mm -hmm. back unto the Son, praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see, when we repent, when we confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, when we obey his word, praise God, we are one with him. Amen. So therefore, praise God, because we're unified with the Father, now we go forth, praise God, preaching that same doctrine, praise God, teaching that same that same doctrine to men, praise God, that they may be reconciled also Amen. to the Father and to the Son. Amen. They're one, praise God. Amen. And hell was never made for man, never, but hell not. was made for the devil and his demons, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I want to lay a foundation tonight, praise God. I want to uh, tell you some things about the word. Amen. So we, we're here December 10th. Amen. 2020. Matthew 24, 35 says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, praise God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. It stands forever. It is eternal. It is spirit, praise God. Hallelujah. And it is truth. That's what the scriptures declare. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we're going to always have the word as long as we live. Amen. Amen. And from the day we confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, eternal life began for his people, for us, praise God. Amen. You know, God even said that I will not alter the thing That's that right. has gone out of my mouth. And what is what is proceeded out of God's mouth, mm -hmm. but his word. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 40 and 8, the grass withereth, the flower faded, but my word Praise God. The word of God shall stand forever. forever. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. You're going to see everything around us wither. You're going to see mm -hmm. them fade away. Praise God. But the word of God shall stand. And God is not a man that he should lie. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Neither is he a, a, a God that repents. Praise God. Saints of God, if he said it, he will make it good. Amen. 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 And it is through the word we're instructed, praise God, to be one. Jesus said in John chapter 17, praise God, amen, I, I and the Father were one. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he expects us to be one, praise God, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. You see, earth is a replica of the third heaven, praise God. Whatever amen. is happening in the third heaven, praise God, amen, God wants it here on earth in his people. Amen. We are his conduits. We are mm -hmm. his glory carriers, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the scripture instructs us, praise God, that unity comes through the spirit of peace. Amen. Amen. We don't mm -hmm. want to break the spirit of peace, praise God. Amen. And we're going to go into some scriptures. Amen. And that's coming from uh, Ephesians 4 and 3. So we must believe God's word, number one. Number two, mm -hmm. we must agree with God's word, praise God, if we want to be <laughs> unified with him. Amen? amen. Number three, praise God. Amen. amen. We must obey God's word. Amen. Number four, there is no power without God's word, praise God, aligning us, unifying us with him. Mm -hmm. Number five, hallelujah, there's no miracles without unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must agree with the
the word. We must agree mm-hmm. with God. We must agree with one another. Praise God. Amen. Jesus sent his disciples out two by two. Praise God. Amen. Amen. They weren't out there fighting. Praise God. Amen. Mm-hmm. They were in the same mind. Praise God. They spoke the same thing and they were in one accord with each other in the spirit of God. You know, this, uh, when, when, and when they came back, he says, when you went out, did you lack anything? And they said, no, Lord. Hallelujah. They had, every, they had everything they needed because Amen. they were together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to get into that. Praise God. Amen. Mm. Because unity is what produces the blessing. Amen. 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 So Psalm 1, 119, 160, thy word is true from the beginning. And every one of thy righteousness, righteous judgment endures forever. Mm-hmm. His word endures forever. Amen. It will Amen. not fall. It will not mm. wither, praise God. It's an enduring word, praise God. Amen. It lasts throughout every generation, the scripture tells us. Amen. Mm-hmm. And it is the word of God, hallelujah. Amen. That catapult us, praise God. Amen. Into our assignment here on earth. Into our destiny here on earth, praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First John 5, 3 and John 14, 15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments for my commandments Mm. are not grievous. Amen. Amen. In order for us to grow up from the, 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 um, the milk of the word to the bread of the word to the meat of the word, Amen. praise God. We need to stay in the word. Mm-hmm. We need to stay in our secret place, our closet, praise God. Mm-hmm. We need to feed our spirit, man, praise God. We need to give the, our spirit what it needs to grow up from a babe to a young man to an old man. Amen. We need to mature in the things of God. Amen. We don't want to get to that place when it's time for ministry, praise God, and we don't know anything. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I thought as a child, I understood as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 So we want the word, praise God. We want the meat of the word. Paul says, when you ought to be teachers, you have need that someone teach it you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, of the word of God. Amen. 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 We want when it's time for God to send us out because we've been unified with him from the day we accepted his son into our life. Amen. Hallelujah. So 1 Samuel 15, 22 to 24, I'm not going to read the whole thing, praise God. But part of it says to obey is better than to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. When we obey the word, praise God, we shall prosper and be blessed. Amen. But not when we refuse or when we reject the word of God, hallelujah, the curse. We (laughs) open the door for the curse to come into our life, praise God. We're going to see that. Amen. Amen. So Deuteronomy 11, 27, 28, verse 27 says, A blessing if you obey my commandments. Amen. The commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. 20, verse 28. And a curse if you will not obey the commandments of your God. Plain and simple. Amen. Plain God is not simple. asking us. Amen. He's commanding us. Amen. It's an order. Amen. It's an order. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. It's just like going into the military, praise God. Once you swear in, praise God, you have got to do what they say. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. So John John 17, 23, I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. The Father loves us just like he loves the Son, praise God. Amen? Amen. He loves us just like he loved his Son. We are ears of God and joint ears with Christ Jesus. We're one with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, praise God. Amen, amen. Amen? Everything that belongs to the Son belongs to us. God loves us just like he loved his son. Amen. Isaiah 520. We are living in a time when people are calling good evil and evil good. Mm. Woe unto them. 
Mm. Oh, yes, we see it all around us, praise God. Amen. Amen. People are literally, they are so delusional, they are literally, literally calling good evil and evil good. That is the condition of their heart. That's why God judges us, judges us from the place of the heart. Amen. He Amen. says, man looking at the outside, but I look at the heart. Hallelujah. Listen to Revelation 22, 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, mm -hmm. let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Praise God. Amen. So it is the righteousness, the holiness of God that's al that allows us, praise God, to be mm -hmm. one. When we choose to be righteous, when we choose to be holy, praise God, amen, everything that comes from the flesh defiles. Hallelujah. Listen to this. We are speaking on God's word in keeping the unity of the spirit as Ephesians 4.3 says, endeavoring or striving or working towards or working to. Amen. To keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Wherever there is unity, you will find the peace of God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will find the peace of God. Amen. And Pastor Evans, if you can get me Joshua, I want you to read Joshua 1 and 5. Well, let's see. Um... Read me, you read me, Pastor Evan, Joshua 7, 1, and I'll tell you, yeah, chapter 1, and I'll tell you when to uh, stop. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua, jo no, Joshua chapter 7, starting at the first verse. Okay, Joshua 7 from, Joshua 7 and 1, starting at the first verse, New Living Translation. But Israel violated the instructions about the things set apart for the Lord. They violated the instructions. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. like a man named Achan had stolen some of these dedicated things, so the Lord was very angry with the Israelites. Achan was the son of Carmi, a descendant of Zerami, a son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah. So they should have known better. They were of the tribe of Judah. Judah means praise. Why, why you got to go... Okay. <laughs> Joshua spent, sent some of his men... From Jericho to spy out the land of Ai, east of Bethel, near Beth Avon. When they returned, they told Joshua, There is no need for us, for all of us to go up there. It won't take more than two or three thousand men to attack Ai. Since there are so few of them, don't make all our people struggle to go up there. So, in other words, you're saying, Look, Ai, psst, they, they small. It ain't going to take a whole bunch of us, but only about two or 3,000 because they had, they had a lot of folk. He said, you know what? We're going to beat them. We're going we gonna to whoop mm -hmm. up on them. We, got, we need to send everybody. We just need to send a few folk, a few good men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let me interject Amen. right here, Pastor Amen. Evans, Amen. because we're coming to the end of this story soon, praise God. But this is what God mm -hmm. told Joshua, mm -hmm. praise God, amen, when Moses died. Amen. He says, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Mm -hmm. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. That's I will not feel, fail thee, nor forsake thee. But we're going to see what sin does, praise God. Oh, yeah, watch go out. Ahead. Okay, here we go. So approximately 3,000 warriors were sent, but they were soundly they were soundly defeated. In other words, they got their butts whooped. Mm -hmm. They got, mm -hmm. got their behinds kicked. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the men of Ai chased the Israelites from down the gate as far as as far as the quarries and then killed about 36 who were retreating down the slope. Mm -hmm. The Israelites were paralyzed with fear at the turn of events and their courage melted away. Mm. 
Joshua and the elders of Israel tore their clothing in dismay, threw dust on their heads, and bowed their faces to the ground uh, to the ground before the ark of the Lord until evening. So, I mean, whatever time it was, they were there for a while, wailing before God. Because God had told them, I have delivered AI into your hands. Mm-hmm. But something along the way went mm-hmm. wrong. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Mm-hmm. Then Joshua cried out, O sovereign Lord, why did you bring us across the Jordan River if you are going to let the Amorites kill us? If only we had been content to stay on the other side. You know, even Joshua starting to starting to wail back. Man, if, why, why we come over here if we going if we going to lose? The Lord, Lord, what can I say now that Israel has fled from its enemies? For when the Canaanites and all their all their people living in the other land hear about it, they will surround us and wipe our name off the face of the earth. Oh Jesus. And then what will happen to the honor of your great name? So I like how Joshua just, he, he actually turns it back on God. God, what are they going to say about you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we gonna, we, they're going to wipe us up, but what are they going to say about you, Lord? Mm-hmm. What's the testimony to your name? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> but the Lord said to Joshua, get up. That's right. Get up, boy. That's right. Why are you lying on your face like this? See, God don't ask a question for information. God <laughs> asks a question to find out if, if what, what, what you're going to say. Mm-hmm. Because God already, already knows mm-hmm. the answer. Mm-hmm. But the Lord said to Joshua, get up. Why are you lying on your face like this? Something like he said to Moses when That's Moses right. was crying. Look, why why yeah. are you crying to me? Yes. Didn't I tell you yes. to go forward? Why are That's you crying? Right. I already gave you instruction. Right. Why are That's you crying right. to me? That's right. Israel has sinned and broken my covenant. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. They broke fellowship with God. Mm-hmm. They, bro- they, they fell out of unity with yes. God. Yes. Yes. Israel has sinned and broken my covenant. They have stolen some of the things that I command that I commanded must be set apart for me. And they have not only stolen them, but have lied about it and hidden the things among their own belongings, compound sin. Mm -hmm. They stole and they lied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a thief has to lie. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Lying thief. That's right. Sin (laughs) sin begets sin. Sin begets sin. Ooh, (laughs) Jesus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He says, this is why the Israelites are running from their enemies in defeat. For now, Israel itself had been set apart for destruction. I will not remain with you any longer unless you destroy the things among you that were set apart for destruction. Get up, command the people to purify themselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, hidden among you, O Israel, are things set apart for the Lord. You will never defeat your enemies until you remove the things from among you. Hallelujah. And I love it. Even though God Mm, knew mm, mm, that there mm, was mm, sin mm, in the camp, mm, praise God, and he knew who sinned, praise God, he told Joshua to tell the people to get up and sanctify mm, themselves. mm, mm, When God is coming to visit us, praise mm, God, mm, when a visitation is about to come to mm, our house, praise God, amen, mm, mm, we must be living in a state of repentance. Yes. We must wash ourselves with the yes. word of God. Yes. We must cleanse ourselves with the blood of yes. Jesus. Praise God. Oh my God, God does yes. not dwell in an unholy temple. Cannot, Amen. He not. comes to the Shall man not. or the woman of God. Hallelujah. That is in covenant with him. Yes. The man or the woman of God. Hallelujah. Yes. That is one with him. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Yes. The yes. man or the woman of mm-hmm. God that keeps his word. That keeps his will. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. (laughs) Verse 14. In the morning, you must present yourselves by tribes, and the Lord will point out the tribe to which is the guilt to which the guilty man belongs. That tribe must come forward with its clans, and the Lord will point out the guilty man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The guilty clan. Yeah. That (laughs) clan will then come forward, and the Lord will point out the guilty family. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, each member of the guilty family must come forward one by one. That's right. That's right. The one who has stolen what was set apart for destruction himself will be burned with fire along with everything he has, for he has broken the covenant of the Lord and has done a horrible thing in Israel. Sin separates us from God. Mm -hmm. Sin defiles, praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sin breaks covenant with God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's why God judges our heart. Praise Mm -hmm. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. God could have just told Joshua who it was. He knew who it was. Praise God. Amen. But everything that God does is for our sake. 
That's right. That's right. He's teaching us something. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same thing happened to Moses. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. When Nadab and Adai, Abihu sinned, praise God. God could have t uh, told Moses the prophet before mm -hmm. and allow him to know. Mm -hmm. To know, praise God. That's Amen. Right. That's right. But he didn't reveal it to uh, Moses. Mm -hmm. He does not reveal everything to man, praise God. That's Amen. Right. That's he right. is teaching us something. We must depend and rely on him. We must stay in unity with him. Yes. We must trust him with all our heart, all our souls, all our mind, praise God. We must not break covenant with the holy God. Amen. When he comes back, he's coming back for holy people. Amen. Indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Mm. And ye, this is coming from uh, Joshua 6, 18. And ye in any wise, keep yourself from the accursed thing, lest um, ye make yourself accursed. Mm -hmm. Whatever you give yourself wow. to, you become like that thing, praise wow. God. The scripture says, to whom ye obey, mm -hmm. that thing becomes your, your God, yes. your, yes. Master, your master, praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Your Lord, yep. So when ye mm -hmm. take of the accursed thing and mm -hmm. make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it, praise God, yes, the accursed thing, the sin now begins trouble oh. in your house. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. That's right. That's why God told um, Joshua he's going to be with him like he was with, with, with Moses. Moses. Mm -hmm. When he told him to go up, go up, praise God, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But yet, AI beat them, praise God, and ran them out of the city. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That is what sin does to us, praise God, even today mm -hmm. in the New Testament, praise oh, God. Lord, have mercy. Have Amen. Mercy, have mercy. Have sin mercy, breaks co um, covenant with God. Amen. It is a stench in his nostril, mm -hmm. praise God. Amen. We are not a living sacrifice in his sight anymore, praise God. But when he sees us in sin, he sees death because sin begat death and there's no unity with the Father. Mm, glory to God, my God. Jesus, Jesus, help us. Help us, Lord. So listen to this. Wow. Amen. Wow. Wow. So Achan decided to disobey God mm -hmm. in stealing the accursed thing and hiding it in the camp. He didn't only steal it, he hid it. He knew it was wrong. Amen. You only hide something when you know you're wrong. <laughs> Ooh, wow. The eyes of the Lord go to and fro. He sees everything, everything in the earth. Everything is naked and open unto him. He's the Amen. All God. Everything. Mm -hmm. He knows our thoughts. Mm -hmm. He knows what's off. in our heart. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He knows what we're going to give ourselves to <laughs> next. Amen. We must not break unity with the Father. Amen. 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 Because now when we break unity with the Father, there's trouble in the camp. Mm -hmm. There's trouble in your house. Mm -hmm. There's trouble now mm -hmm. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see, one when one member suffers, the oh, whole body, body suffers, suffers along with it. That's right. Achan sinned, and the sin came upon all Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All Israel, and what in is there were millions of them. All Israel, the sin from one man. Fathom that. Listen to this. Fathom that. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Number one, when Achan sinned, it came upon all Israel. Number two, God told Joshua to get up, amen, to go up against AI, amen, to overtake them. Praise God, amen. They lost the battle because of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were separated from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have you ever been given a word and the word has not come to pass? Hmm. Hmm. And the due season for that word came, but it never came to pass because of sin in your life. Mm -hmm. Wow. God can give you a word, but it's up to you to maintain that word. Praise God. You bring that word to fulfillment on your knees and by obedience to God's word. Amen. You don't break covenant with him. Amen. Number three. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, number four. Yeah, number four. We must unify with God 
and his word by obeying his truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must abide in the truth of God's word. Hallelujah. He said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. He says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word was with God and the word was God. All things were made by him and without him was nothing made that, that was, was made. Mm -hmm. In him was life and the light in him was light and the light life was the light of, of, of God. Of God. Amen. <laughs> The word has always been. Amen. He's alpha and omega. He's beginning and the end. Praise God. And we have to choose to abide by that word. As Joshua said, hallelujah. As for me and my house, we choose to serve the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a jealous God. He wants nothing before him. And he wants no other gods in our life. We belong to him. Amen. Amen. Listen to this, number five. Amen. And we, we, we know from reading the scripture, Joshua and the elders, amen, threw dirt all over themselves and rented their clothes. They ripped their clothes off, praise God. Amen. Because God gave them a word and that word was not fulfilled because of sin. Mm -hmm. You see, we can't blame God. We always have to look at ourselves or those in our household, praise God. That's right. If any time God gives a prophet a word and he says, I'm going to visit you today, praise God. Amen. And, and it's the end of service and God never showed up. It's because there's sin in the camp. Mm -hmm. That's right. God don't play with sin. Sin breeds death. Amen. Hallelujah. It separates us mm -hmm. from God. We want to be in unity with the father. Amen. Number six. Amen. So God instructed Joshua in what to do. Achan. Listen to this. Because Achan stole and hid the accursed thing in the camp of Israel. Praise God. God called him out through Joshua, his servant. Achan, his wife, his daughters, his son, his children. Praise God. His donkeys, his animals. Everything that belonged to Achan was stoned to death and burnt that day. God don't play with sin, praise God. Hallelujah. He wants us to be unified in him. Hallelujah. He wants us to keep the unity of the faith. Amen. Pastor Evans, if you could read 1 Corinthians 1.10 for me, please. Amen. So Achan was not operating in unity Praise God. Not with Joshua, not with the people of Israel, and not with God. God sees everything, and he knows exactly where the sin is coming from. Amen. 1 Corinthians 1.10 from the Amplified. But I urge you and entreat you, or I'm begging you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in perfect harmony or in unity, and full agreement. Yeah, I, I, oh, Lord, I love this. Let me read that again. That all of you be in perfect harmony and in full agreement in what you say, and there be no dissensions or divisions or factions among you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But that you be perfectly united in your common understanding and in your opinions and in your judgments. Hallelujah. 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 That explains itself, praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why those at the Tower of Babel, praise God, were succeeding because they were one people. Even though they didn't know God, even though they didn't invite God into their midst, praise God. Amen. They were succeeding because they were unified. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this, praise God. If we want to conquer and overcome, we must operate in the unity of the spirit of peace. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's, we must amen. be one. We have to. We have to. The amen. Bible says one can chase a thousand, but two, two can put 10,000 10, to flight. flight. Mm -hmm. The scripture also says where well, there are two or more together, gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Oh, yes. God loves numbers. He loves unity because it breeds power. But wherever there is sin, this Bible says a house divided against itself will not, it shall not stand, praise God. 
That's right. Ephesians tells us to open no door for the enemy. Don't leave any door open for him, praise God. He don't need to be in your house. When he comes, praise God, it's not only you he's coming for. He's coming for your children, your grandchildren, praise God, amen. Your your your, your pets, praise God, and the little mice and, and roaches <laughs> that are running around in your house. He wants it all. That's right. Just like he wanted Jesus to bow down before him. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, amen. so we praise God. We praise God. Amen. 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 But saints of God, we must be in one accord. We must be unified, praise God. Amen. We must agree with the word. We must agree when God speaks to us, we must be in agreement with God. We must be in agreement with the Holy Spirit, praise God. Amen. We must wash and cleanse ourselves, praise God. Amen. amen. And keep amen. the unity of the spirit, praise God. We must. We must. We cannot get to God without his spirit. Amen. Amen. And when the Holy Spirit speaks, we must obey. Amen. Amen. We must submit ourselves to the word. We love you and God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Amen. We pray that y'all were blessed by that word today. Amen. Hallelujah. Unity is such a powerful thing. Unity is such a powerful thing. And yes. we, cannot, we cannot dismiss the fact that we have to walk and we have to operate and we have to function in this unity. If we want God to bless us, we have to walk in unity. You all know Psalm 133. Amen. How blessed and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. It's like Together. the anointing. It's like the precious oil that ran, uh, that was poured upon Aaron's head, that ran down his beard, down his shoulders, even to, onto the skirts of his garment. He said, that's where God commands the blessing. Mm -hmm. Unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you right now. We lift up to you, Lord, our nation, and we pray for the spirit of unity in our nation. And Lord, we want to jump right to praying for someone that's listening to this message that may not know you in the pardoning of their sins. To be in sin, Lord, is to be eternally separated from God. But to be unified with the Lord is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. To be unified with God is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ that we may be reconciled back unto Him. There is a reunification with the Father that is only appropriated through the Son by the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If that's you today, amen, and you, you, you want to be united with God, you want to be one with God, one with the family of God, you have to accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior in the pardoning of your sins. Would say this prayer after us, mean it from your heart, and you would have gained entrance into the kingdom of God and be one with him and with his with his saints. Amen. And all those that are true believers in Jesus Christ. Say this with me after me. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says. Your word says. Him that cometh to me. Him that cometh to me. I will in no wise cast out. I will in no wise cast out. So I know you won't cast me out. So I know you won't cast me out. But you take me in. But you'll take me in. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth. And I confess with my mouth. That Jesus died. That Jesus died. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. For my justification. For my justification. I confess all my sins. I confess all my sins. My transgressions. My transgressions. And my iniquities. And my iniquities. Wash me clean, Lord. Wash me clean, Lord. Whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. Your word says, Lord. Your word says, Lord. That if any man be in Christ. That if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. And behold. And behold. All things have become new. All things have become new. Lord God. Lord God. I thank you. I thank you. For giving me the power. For giving me the power. To become your son. To become your son. By accepting your son. By accepting your son. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me. For saving me. It's that simple. Thank you, Father. You said those words and meant it from your heart. 
you are now a born again believer. You are now a disciple of Christ. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage you, amen, to find a church, yes. find a house of prayer, find a, 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 a house of worship, amen, a faith institution that's teaching the incorruptible, mm -hmm. indestructible, mm -hmm. indispensable, irrefutable word of God. Yes. Because this is the word of God that would keep you safe. This is the word of God that mm -hmm. would that would keep you out of mm -hmm. harm's way, out of, out of out of danger's way. This is the word of God that would keep you walking the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. This is the word of God. That Jesus said, the words that I say unto you, they are spirit, spirit and, and they, they are life. life. All of it from Genesis to Revelation, it is spirit and it is life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't get caught in legalism because the letter of the law killeth, but it's mm -hmm. the spirit of the that Lord that, that gives life. Mm -hmm. mm. Hallelujah. That's mm -hmm. some, that was for somebody. Mm -hmm. That was for somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. So That's we bless right. you today for yes. listening. Amen. We want to encourage all of you that are looking, that are um, mm -hmm. continuing to watch us on our broadcast, specifically for those of you looking at us on YouTube. Thank you for the comments. Oh, glory yes, to God. Yes, we yes. thank you for the comments and thank we you. thank you for the encouragement. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and spread the word and That's bring right. others with you, amen, right. as yes. you continue to to, um, to be blessed by these messages that God has given us to give to his people, amen, yes. glory to yes. God, yes. amen. Yes. And all of you that are listening on Facebook, amen, we continue to bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. It is very important. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your support, amen, mm -hmm. hallelujah. And um, oh, remember to take communion yes. and continue to send yes. in your seed. Amen. Even those of you that are not citizens of Covenant Kingdom International yes. Ministries, yes. we welcome your giving. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. This is this is fertile ground. This That's is fertile right. ground. That's Amen. Right. Hallelujah. God is causing a, a, mount, a, a, a serious magnified harvest mm -hmm. to come out of Covenant mm -hmm. Kingdom International Ministries. Mm -hmm. Believe you me. Amen. You mm -hmm. shall see it. Glory That's to right. God. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. So from, from, from Covenant Kingdom International mm -hmm. Ministries, Seekham Ministries, we just want to say bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us yes. on this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray that something was said tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. That caused a stirring. That's that caused right. a shaking. That's right. Amen. That caused a turnaround. Amen. Yes. In, yes. Your, in your life. Amen. That mm -hmm. we may now no longer take part of the things that mm -hmm. will separate us or divide mm -hmm. us, but mm -hmm. cause us to walk in the spirit mm -hmm. of unity. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, saints. Pastor E here. Hey, thank you for joining us on our broadcast today. And we pray that something was said that has blessed, truly blessed your soul. I pray that something that was said, something that was ministered to you, resonated in your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Something that would drive us, praise God, drive us more towards working towards, uh, in a, walking in agreement, walking as a team. Amen. Walking in togetherness. Hallelujah. Walking in unity, walking in collaboration, and all those other words we talked about that meant, uh, that, that, that have the implication of unity. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I tell you, the Lord says that where there is unity, he commands the blessing. Amen. And who don't want a blessing commanded on their lives? I know I do. I want blessings commanded on me every day, if necessary, if able. Amen. Hallelujah. So it starts at home. The unity starts in the home. Husbands and wives, if you're not walking in unity, wherever you go, you take that garbage with you. Hallelujah. It's tight and it's right. Okay. But praise God. I pray that y'all were encouraged today. Amen. To, to strive to walk to unity in your homes. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when it starts at the family unit, when it starts at home, everything else works out all right. Hallelujah can't be in discord at home and then come to church and figure it's going to be all right. It, it don't automatically come together. You have to work this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to work this thing. So amen. Again, we pray that you guys were encouraged by this word that came forth. Let's strive together to walk in unity. We're not going to agree. I know the, We know the Bible says in Amos 3 and 3, let's, uh, can two walk together except they agree, lest they agree. We know we're not going to agree on every jot and tittle. We're not going to uh, uh, agree on every little common apostrophe. But on the core things, amen, on the things that really matter, let us come to agreement. Amen. Hallelujah. The other little stuff, that stuff can pass. That's the, it's, it's all right. We can, we can uh, agree to disagree and still move on. We don't have to fall out or not like each other or, not, or, or you know, treat each other wrong or because we don't agree. Amen. We, we're, grown. we're supposed to be grown, folk. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, we may be grown physically, but are we grown spiritually or are we still on milk? Amen. Let's grow up. Bro. We are the church. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we want to do exploits in the earth, we need to walk in unity. Just like God blessed the, the, uh, the, the 120. They were in one accord, in one place, in unity. 
And what happened? God, the, be the blessing that God commanded, the blessing of the Holy Spirit, came and fell in that room. Amen. We want greater today. Amen. Hallelujah. We want more today. Let's walk in unity. God bless you. We love you. We're praying for you all. Bye-bye.